All right, so this will be the quick tutorial on how to set up glasses on your avatar with the ability to push them up the bridge of your nose like you could do in real life. And it's actually pretty straightforward over the old system that used dynamic bones. So for starters, you want to bring in the glasses that you have that you want to use into your uh, into your scene, scale them and position them where you want them, and then you're going to drag and drop them onto the head of your avatar in the armature. What you're then going to do is create an empty game object. And to do that, you're going to go to the head of your armature, right click, and go to create empty. So here is your object. Uh, you can name this whatever you want. I already have one here for the glasses. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, I'm going to rename this one and just call it glasses two. So it uh, doesn't conflict with anything. And then you're going to position it roughly where your ears would be. Obviously, if you had human ears, if you're a furry like me. <laughs> what this is going to do is create the pivot point for where the glasses tilt up and down. So it's going to pivot on this point here, allowing the front of the glasses just to come up and down. From there, you're going to drag your actual glasses into the, uh, the game object you created. So it's nested like this inside the head armature of your avatar. From there, click on, on your, uh, your game object. You're going to come over here to add a component and do a VRC Fizzbo. Uh, now, if you haven't worked with Unity that much, you're gonna need a little bit of experience to do this. So a few things I'm not gonna cover in serious depth. Uh, you're gonna grab your game object now and drag and drop it here to root transform. You can leave all of these values as they appear. Um, it doesn't really matter. The big ones that matter here are gonna be a mobile type and the immobile value. Make sure type is set to all motion and set the value to one. What this is gonna do is stop the glasses excuse me, from bouncing as you're just moving around and whatnot in the game. From there, come down here to limits. You're going to change it to hinge. This should already default to a vertical hinge. Then from there, you want to adjust the angle. I had mine set to, uh, to five degrees. Now, if you notice, the bone is projecting down the middle of this angle. We don't want that. We want the bone to be resting on the bottom of the angle here so it has that entire upward movement to work with, But it's, so its resting position is down. Simply do that. You're going to come over here to pitch. You're going to set it to a negative, a negative value equal to that of your, ang your angle limit. Mine is 5 degrees, so I set it to negative 5. From there, we also need to now give the co a collision radius to the bone, otherwise nothing can, your, your hand, your finger can't interact with it. You can change these values to whatever you, uh, you want. Obviously the smaller the better, so it's not projecting really big off of, like just outside of your head. I'm gonna be honest, the one thing I haven't been able to figure out yet is how to get this point of the bone to move up here to the bridge of the glasses, but also so that this point is is um, has a big end like this one. So if anybody can figure that out, feel free to expand upon this. Again, this is just a simple tutorial, so you know how to do it. From here, you want to then disallow grabbing and disallow posing, but leave coll allow collision on because obviously we want collision. Now from here, you can test it in game or in Unity with a, an empty game object off in space that has a Fizzbone Collider on it. Same process, you're gonna create outside of your armature, you're gonna just right click and hit create empty. You're gonna come over here to add component and do a Fizzbone Collider. Drag and drop the game object into the, uh, the root transform here and then just change its radius size so it's not like gigantic in game. Depending on the size of your avatar is, depending on what the scale of your avatar is, is going to influence how your, uh, your scale factors here are going to change things. Once you have that set, your game object here, we're going to come back to the Fizzbone portion here that we were working on earlier. Oh, before I forget, make sure is animated is checked if you have certain animations connected to uh, your glasses and whatnot. But from here, if you want to test it in Unity, you need to add a collider uh, prerequisite, the prerequisite here. Since we already created that empty game object outside the armature with the Fizzbone Collider, it should appear in the list here when you go to add it. So now that we've added it, we can go to play to, uh, to test it out. We're gonna come back to scene here. We're gonna come to our game object and we're simply just going to drag it around. And you can kind of see how that 
affects it. Now again, like I said, where the bone was projecting to the center point here on the glasses, that is where it's your main point of effect is going to be. You can come out here and it'll kind of affect it, but it's also gonna be affected along the entire length of that bone as well. But obviously the point is you just wanna be able to put your glasses up because it's cute. So yep, that's about it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Hopefully this helped. Um, Main video is going to be uploaded on my YouTube, and hopefully a cut version will be on my TikTok. So, yeah.